This is Dr. James Wharton of the Dikidoku channel and it's time for another Let's Play of a Quantum game. This time it's a game, Mechanic, available on the App Store. So how to play? It's all about putting some blocks in the right order. Start simple but it gets complicated fast. So exactly how does it get complicated? Well apparently it's complicated to flick through the tutorial for me even though I did it myself only a few moments ago. But anyway, to complete a level you need to make the current and target pattern patterns match. So we have these two patterns. We've got to make a match. How do we do that? Well, there are four rows. So as we could see here, well, there's two rows, but there are four rows, at least in general. Uh, there's some blocks we can put down. And we update the, our pattern by dragging blocks from the toolbar to the dots on the rows. doesn't matter exactly where we put the block on the row, but it does matter which port uh, order we put them in and each block does something different. So we have to figure out what the right sequence of blocks is to get a match. So the more rows, the more blocks, the more different kinds of blocks, the harder it gets. It's difficult. So let's give it a go. I've already played for a few games before I started this Let's Play and then I decided that I'd, I'd do them fresh in front of you. Okay, so here we only have one block, this X one, so Let's hope that does the job. Yes, it does. So as a scientist, I know what's going on here in, in a way. This is uh, a quantum computer. This is a single qubit. This line is a qubit. And from left to right, it's its, it's, its um, history through the ages. And uh, so we can have the, the first thing that ever happens to it is an X here. And that succeeds in taking it from the initial that we had to the final that we need. Uh, here we need a different final, so let's try a Y, what does that do? No, that's not right. A Z, what does that do? Uh, nothing. And an H, what does that do? It works! Huzzah! Um, but actually, whatever these blocks represent, I don't know. That is not some, I, I, I guess that a d density matrix of the qubit, but nevertheless, I can't really figure out what I need just from looking at these blocks. Uh, this is equivalent to a bit flip in terms of qubits, so flipping 0 to 1 and 1 to 0. These, this is a bit flip with a, with a Z on top of it. This is a Z, which is kind of hard to explain. And this is a Hanamard, which is also kind of hard to explain. Uh, you can read about these things on my blog, though, digadoku.blogspot.ha. Um, but uh, this looks like it's got the blue thing that we need, so uh, an H does, an X does that, and we need a Hadamard a makes it all go to the top. There we go. Next level. What do we need to do this time? Well, we can see that we've got a thing called an S here. I think that an S might help. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, an S commutes with Z, obviously, and uh, anything that can, anything uh, that's related to Z doesn't seem to do anything here. So let's put an H in to make things uh, a bit different, and then see if the S does it afterwards. Yes, maybe I do have some vague idea what's going on. Okay, we need it all over on the left, so we know that an H and then an S does that and we need a bit of blue and we know that uh hey where's my z oh no i ain't got a z i meant my x i ain't got an x see if a y will do it no stick a y in between there that apparently does it so yeah i don't know exactly what's going on but i don't think that's a bad thing i think that's quite that's quite good because it's meaning that you are going to be learning about quantum mechanics. Oh, that commutes with Z as well. We have to do an H or something. You're going to be learning about quantum mechanics on, on a sort of intuitive level. You'll be working out somehow what these blocks do, how they work, and it won't give you an explicit knowledge of quantum mechanics that you can actually uh, use in your to pass some sort of exam, but it will give you some sort of an idea about the problems that we have to face. It will give you an idea of how to do gate synthesis, as we call it. So trying to get from uh, knowing what sort of 
not what sort of operation we need to be done in our quantum computer and try and work out exactly how to do that in terms of X's and Y's and Z's and H's and S's and T's, you'll be doing the same thing, but not in our language of density matrices and numbers and, and Clifford algebras and whatnot, but in terms of a more pictorial thing. So I think this is quite a good game. Um, oh, this is just an X that you need on here. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. It also has loads of levels for free. Um, I like this game. Not because I, I'm into the quantum stuff, because the quantum stuff doesn't help me, but because it seems like a good puzzle game. So, check it out. Thank you for watching.